Somebody wanted me to react to this. And this was outside of the garden on 34th Street and 7th Avenue. You got a Jordan brand advertisement featuring Jason Tatum. Don't stop disbelieving. He's clapping at his haters. Champion. But it's right by the garden. It's over Foot Locker. It's right by the garden. Knicks fans are a little upset. You know, they're insulted a little bit. How could Boston do this? Right outside our building, the disrespect. CP, you got to clap back. You're, you're our voice. That's what they said. I'm just a conductor. But all I'll say is, this is Madison Avenue. Nothing more, nothing less. This is dollars and cents. Money talks. You got the money? You can put whatever you want up there. You could hit, hit that thumbs up button for your boys up there. Put family show. Put Mitchie ain't no snitchy. Whatever it is. If you have the, the, the bucks to pay, you got it. And this is right above Foot Locker. So, look. I'm sure the Jordan and Nike reps put it up there knowing that it was going to tweak New Yorkers and garner attention. But that's the point. That's the point of the ad. They want eyeballs on there. And not to mention that, for the young fans that these brands are catering to, the Gen Z, Gen Alpha fans, who as a demographic are team agnostic these days as it relates to the NBA, they're more player followers. This is a good investment for them. I'm sure that that's the way they're looking at it. Dollars and cents. Capitalism. That's what it is, man. That's all. No need to uh no need to get offended, man. And like some people said as a reaction to this, hey, the best way to clap back is to have the Knicks win. Boston got their rings. They on top of the world, man. They got every right to do what they want to do. That's nothing to do with them, but hey, it is what it is. You're insulted by that, hey. Hopefully the Knicks can turn it around and get some more wins. <laughs>